Good stuff. Do we need to move it? It's pretty big. <laughs> How did it even fit inside the door? You know, how did, how did it even get in here? It was, it would have been a tight ass squeeze. Maybe it teleported in, you know, maybe it, it got some teleportation magic. It ate an old ring or whatever. I mean, let alone how did it get into the door? How to get in the front gates? Solitude isn't exactly the most accessible city, right? It's literally perched on top of a weird, like stone formation. There's very few entrances <laughs> to the actual city. It's it's very defensible. Someone had to have seen him. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck me. It would not be the first bear that snuck into solitude and caused destruction. Somebody left the gate open. <laughs> Someone left the front gate to the city open. They let him in. Oh, shit. Next time we come back to solitude, heads are gonna roll. <laughs> When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were on a quest to save their friend, Vilkis, of the Companions. But not to save him in the realm of physicalities, but in the realm of, I guess, oblivion. So in, the rel in the realm of spirituality, of the realm of the afterlife, of Sovngarde, all that shit. It was up to them to cure Vilkis's lycanthropy once again. Well, not Vilkis's, but, you know, another member of the inner circles. And so they got a cool head from a witch. They chopped up a whole bunch of witches with a hammer, took the heads, also explored some weird bandit places, and finally made their way up to the tomb of Iskramor, where they fought a big wolf thing. And Vilkis loved it and was cured. What a nice time. Now it was time to go up to Solitude and investigate some bullshit inside of someone's house for Ayla and then hopefully get another more important mission from her. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Boop. There we go. Let's head on out. Now also in between videos I did a little bit of inventory management. I even got a level out of it. I did some smithing, smithed up a whole bunch of gold, gold jewelry and all that. I think I've, I've got quite a bit of it still on me to sell off. Yeah. We'll sell that off and did some enchanting, of course, as you could see there. A lot of good shit. We've got quite a few items on us to sell off because we'd kind of run low on uh, vendor trash, so to speak. Okay. Should we track these kill snow bear? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we're, we are already tracking it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Shit, we're, we're all over the place today. It's no good. Let's head on over. There we go. And I think while we're up in solitude, like we alluded to last time, we'll do at least one big, important miscellaneous Need quest up there. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yeah, Where take me to, to solitude, if you will. There Climbing we are. back and we'll be off. Good. Okay. And I think don't we have Whoa, a Thieves Guild quest up here? I know we've got one in Markarth and maybe Solitude, I'm not sure. We'll hit up the Thieves Guild one first if we have it. I don't know if we do. Any weapon or piece of armor can be improved at a smithy. Mm. That almost makes it sound like there was originally plans to like let smiths improve your shit. Like, you pay them a fee or whatever, and they would do it. Okay. Should we eat some stuff here? I think so. I cooked up some more brook bass, because we just have so much of it, you know? Hmm. Let's sort by weight. Do I have any, like, super heavyweight items? This mammoth cheese. Is there a reason to hold on to this mammoth cheese? Can you cook it in something? You know what? Maybe we'll hold on to it. Why not? Nord meat, I'll eat that. Cheese wedges. I kind of don't want to eat these steamed mud crab legs because they look so delicious to me. <laughs> they, they look amazing, but maybe we should? I don't know. I'll eat these sweet rolls. Okay, you know what? We'll eat that brook bass. That's fine. Okay, let's head on up here. Oh, also, 
Yeah, winking skeever numbers job. Okay, fair enough. We'll check in at the Khajiiti caravan and pawn off a bunch of items real quick too. I think I still have some potions or poisons to sell off. Strange sight. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve? Yep. Take a look. Hey, do you want to buy some weird shit from me? I'll buy some of that. Get your precious stones. You got anything else here of interest? Oh, uh, do I want to get some more of these fun items? You know what? I kind of do. Void Essence. Where is this from? This must be from Oblivion, but I don't remember it. Like, this has got to be Shivering Isles stuff, right? I don't remember it looking like this, though. Void Essence? I don't remember this one. Is this from Shivering Isles, or is this a Morrowind one? Or maybe it's from the before time. <laughs> right? Maybe it's from the before time. No, Void Essence really sounds like Shivering Isles junk. I'm not sure. What would it be? Void Essence. Hmm. Whatever it is, it, it surely is not something I've gotten a lot of. Maybe it's something from a... A Daedra? Void Essence. I'm not sure. Hmm. What drops Void Essence? I'm trying to think. I can't I can't think of it off the top of my head. Is it the Winged Twilights? Because those were in Morrowind. I don't think they drop Void Essence, do they? And if they did, it didn't look like that. Okay, let's get rid of some of this junk. There we are. Wonderful. And one more. We'll take the hit. Thank you. May your road lead you to warm sands. Okay, now let's go on up here. We'll hit up the winking skeever, and then we can get rid of this bear. You know, <laughs> the bear, it can wait. It can chill out there in their house. I'm sure it's all under control. <laughs> Good God. Okay, over this way. Winking skeever. Here we are. Welcome. And let's Let sneak on anything. up here. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Okay. And then let's grab this. I leave it just down here, perfect for us to tamper with. Okay. Return to Delvin. Wonderful. Let's stop tracking that. And then let's go kill this bear. Oh. Oh, okay. Part of me was wondering, whoa, is that new music? I don't think so. Does the Creation Club add in new music? I, I, I doubt it. Okay, here we go. I'd have to imagine getting whoever played that music back would be pretty expensive. I'm assuming it was, like, actually recorded rather than, like, synthesized or whatever. Okay, what time of day is it? It's kind of miserable. Hey, Just 5 p.m. No, sorry, there's a bear attack. I've got to go deal with this bear. Oh shit, this is the house we broke into before, huh? <laughs> okay. I found the bone. I brought it to you, but still I am refused. Wait, I know you. Dervenin, you know what? We'll take care of that in just a bit. We need to go in here. Take care of a bear. Holy shit, it's just right here, vibing. Can I... Can I make it peace out, though? Hang on. Can we do this, like, peacefully? Hmm. Let's see. Kind's peace, right? Here we go. Let's try it. Check this out. Jizarko, I'm gonna try and make it peaceful. Cut! Remove! Huh? Oh, shit. Wow. It affected all the food, too. Okay. Come on, bear. Will you follow me out now? It's it's not following. Okay, uh, I guess we gotta kill it. You know what? We, we gave it a shot. We gave it a try. We're gonna have to kill it. We'll just say that the bear did all this, you know? This way. <laughs> yeah, is there anyone still in the house? <laughs> before, we, before we kill the bear. 
We'll just say that the bear did all this destruction and, and everything. It was a very wild bear. Let's see. What all have you got? Roll of paper? Eh. Zarko, start looking for shit. Start looking for shit to steal. Got some garlic? I mean, we did already hit this house, and it doesn't seem like it respawned much of anything. A little bit of money there. I'll eat some raw carrots. Good. Anything else? Some fucking bowls? Okay. Anything else? Treasure chest here filled with... Eh, not much. Okay. We'll just tell him that the bear ate all of the money, too. It thought it was, like, chocolate coins or something. <laughs> A chocolate septum, you know. Okay. There we go. I don't like how the light shifted like that. It made it seem like someone spawned in upstairs. Oh, shit. Jazargo, you made me take a fucking plate. Okay. Hang on. Let's drop the plate. There we go. Okay. Good. Should we take some of these? Garlics? Hell yes. Rabbits and shit? Meh. We'll leave them. We got so much food. All right. Here we go, bear. You're toast! Good stuff. Alright. Do we need to move it? It's pretty big. How did it even fit inside the door? You know? How did it even get in here? It was it would have been a tight ass squeeze for the bear. Hmm. Maybe it teleported in. You know, maybe it, it got some teleportation magic. It ate an old ring or whatever. I mean, let alone, how did it get into the door? How did it get in the front gates, right? How did, how did, like we said, Solitude isn't exactly the most accessible city, right? It's literally perched on top of a weird, like, stone formation. There's very few entrances <laughs> to the actual city. It's, it's very defensible. Someone had to have seen him. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck me. It would not be the first bear that snuck into solitude and caused destruction. Somebody left the gate open. <laughs> Someone left the front gate to the city open. They let him in. Oh, shit. Next time we come back to solitude, heads are going to roll. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, that is too fucking good. <laughs> The fact that another bear got in! Oh, man. This one I don't think was for Markarth, though. <laughs> or of Markarth. Okay. Fucking A. Let's, <laughs> let's get over here. Do we need to check in with A? No, we return to Ayla. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, you know what? Should we rent a room here before we carry on with this other fun quest? I think maybe we want to be fully rested for this situation, you know? That seems like a good plan. We may as well do it. Go on over here. Fucking on, bear of Markarth. <laughs> oh, that's- everyone got so terrified, they were like, This is an omen. This is a sign. <laughs> He's coming back! <laughs> everyone guard Alicef! <laughs> oh shit, where's the innkeeper? Oh, it's you! Welcome to the Winking Skeever, Right, Corpulus. What a fucking name, huh? Alright. I'd like a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Great. I'll show you to your room. <laughs> See the bear. <laughs> okay, up here. <laughs> I can't believe that. <gasps> Fuck, it was too perfect. What a perfectly crafted joke. <laughs> oh man, they write themselves sometimes. Let's go for 12 hours. There we go. Great. Let me know if there's anything else you want. Okay. Wonderful. And we'll munch on a brook bass and head down. Is ours, and so we'll exciting when you clean to nope. the scourge that Pardon. has some... There we go. Someday I... I've only been a Hello, part of the Red I'm Waves Gizli. crew. Let's see. Do we have a quest so we can actually track for this? I'm not sure that we actually do. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that we need to track a miscellaneous one. Oh, fuck. Have we got one for Dervinin? Hmm. Shit, I don't know. 
Wow, do we not actually have one? Oh, investigate the man wandering the streets near the Bard's College. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. All right, let's head on out. Speak with that strange man. Okay. We'll speed on uh, along here. Nah. There we are. And over this way. Hey there, Dervenin. Please take pity on an old madman. Okay. What uh? What happened to your fucking eye sockets, by the Who way? Among you can help me. Rubbed a whole bunch of charcoal there. Hey. Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds, and I cannot bring him back. Wait, I can say Shadow hide you to Dervenin? <laughs> For the Great Cal of Nocturnal Quest? I can use him? What? Okay. I'm kind of tempted to. Dervenin. I know this isn't the usual thing that you do in various timelines and everything, but Shadow hide you, Dervenin. Of course. I'm good. Glad we straightened that out. What? Read the stranger's I note. I brought it. Let's see. Stranger's note. Okay. Let's see. I, I, I still can't read the top line. <laughs> okay. You're here about a job. You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's all right. You don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Bowley's house, placed on a dresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside. Signed, a stranger. <gasps> okay. What is this stranger's plea? Oh, shit. <laughs> She's got something else. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lyle Schnub, I come to you with an urgent plea. I have done unspeakable things which I have come to regret, and the consequences are imminent. If you know of the Oblivion Crisis, then you know I make no jest when I say the fate of Tamriel is at stake. It would be safer for us to speak in person. Please meet me at the Shrine of Stendar, Located between Fort Greymoor and Rorikstead, I will lay my lay bare my sins in Stendar's presence. Perhaps he will grant me forgiveness. Signed, Scorvild. Okay, why are you telling me? Why is he? Why do you want me there? <laughs> if you're going to lay bare your sins, why do I got to be there? This seems like a you and Stendar kind of issue. Why am I involved? I don't have a fucking affiliation with Stendar. Okay, well. But still I'm refused. Okay, the bone. Give me the bone, Dervenin. Why does everyone ignore me? Why do you turn your heads? Why will no one help me? I will help you. What do you need? My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? How can I find your master? Why don't you leave your master? Why don't you leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Okay, how can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Right, okay. So you need me to bring him back. Why do you need him back? Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The holy flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very worth any inconveniences. Right. And if you've played the Shivering Isles, 
the concept, even even if you don't fully remember the like topography, or I guess the the political map, so to speak, of the Shivering Isles. North versus south. North is fighting south. Makes some kind of sense. The flame flickering makes sense. Okay. Who is your master? He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But really? Why is he has that? forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. Oh, uh, he put the charcoal in your eyes? How can I get to your master? He just saw the Batman and thought you, you could, like, pull off the look. How can I get to your master? He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Okay. Very well. Here's a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Okay, see ya. Until next time. Until next time. Let's see, should we take a look at this item? It's a butt, right? It's a butt. I think. Hip bone. Hell yes! The one and only butt in all of Skyrim land that you can actually take. And what a powerful butt it is. You know what? This being a butt that you get, it kind of thematically matches up with with our playthrough of Oblivion, you know? It didn't even occur to me at the time when I started collecting butts in that game, but it totally makes sense, you know? If you think about it, a lot of it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it makes sense that you would have a butt, and that would be your message, or your key, so to speak. Okay, let's head on in. We'll have a looky-loo, look around, listen for a sound, all that good stuff. Yo, speaking of sounds, how fun- Like, obviously, it would have been quite the test for the Creation Club people to get back the voice actors, but imagine if they got back every single voice actor who did voice work for every single beggar in the game, and they all had them read, like, one line, right? But it, it would be, like, the inverse of chatting with beggars in Oblivion, right? Because all throughout Skyrim, they all have, like, their voices are more, I don't know, equalized, normalized, something like that. They're, they don't, like, switch into beggar voice all of a sudden. What if when you did the Grey Cal of Nocturnal bit with a beggar, they just suddenly activated the old Oblivion beggar voice, right? Just for one line. <laughs> They're like, Oh, please, take this note from a stranger, or uh, whatever the fuck I said. <laughs> Good God. Ah, oh, There's a lot of potential there. A lot of throwback potential. All right. Hey, how come we got a quest for this? Hmm. Yeah, what? Why is... Why is this being tracked? Can we have words with you? Falk Firebeard? Do you have business with the court? I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years. And for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Oh no. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel you never wanted some to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. You never wanted like an adventurer to go in there and clear out all the ghosts? Okay. Let's go on over here. Right? Isn't this this is how you do it, right? If I remember correctly. Shit, is this how you do it? Fuck, I don't... Honestly, I don't really remember now. Isn't this it? No, this ain't it. <laughs> How do you do it? Oh, look, there's some other people here we can talk to first. I think. Yeah, let's chat them up. Hey, Una. Huh? I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. Oh, have you seen the ghosts in there? Falk asked me to check it out. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He You've snuck seen up it. on me once and scared me sick. 
It took a week for me to feel better. If Erdy caught me chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. Wow, you know the dude- oh, hello. Just tidying up. The dude out by fucking Iverstead? Hold up, pretending to be a ghost? He picked the wrong fucking place! Right? He picked the wrong place, apparently. He could have had, like, it good. He could have been in literally the Blue Palace here. <laughs> if he just sat up here? Oh my god, he could have just pretended to be a ghost the whole damn time and people would have left him alone for literally at least a hundred years. Right? He was a mer. He could have done it. He could have... How long could his streak have gone on for? Imagine if he decided to just... <laughs> he should have shot... Shooted his shot. Shot his shoot. He should have shit. <laughs> he should have done something. All right, Pelagius Wing. Let's get in here. Hope something weird and fucked up doesn't happen. <laughs> Search for Dervenin's master in the Pelagius Wing. Okay. Let's turn on our light. It is a little dark in here. Red apples. A munch on them. How about over here? Oh, are these not lootable? Some of them are. I think maybe the cobwebs are interfering, and we can't loot through the cobweb. Okay, sure. Hey, here's a question for you. For any learned folks. What's the difference between a spider web and a cobweb? Why do we call them cobwebs? I'm, like, I would imagine it's just interchangeable, Where, but where did cobweb come from? Oh, hey, look, purple butterfly in a jar. I think that's new. Okay. But yeah, cobweb. What's going on there? Why cobweb? We're, at one point, was there like a cob spider? Does it have something to do with like spiders that lived inside of corn cobs? And then people were like, oh shit, this is a cobweb. The cob of this corn has been webbed up by a spider. Maybe? I need some green apple take my mind off of these pressing issues. Sack of flour, sack of flour, potato, barrel, carrot, and there's a fork here. Okay. And this is the, the place, right? Right here. Something will go down here, I think. Anything else here? Eh, looks fine. Jeez, this is just a year? They do it every year, right? This is just a year of spiders. Look at how much they've... They've covered everything in their webbing. That's pretty wild. Like, is the Blue Palace... <laughs> is Solitude just absolutely infested with spiders? Oh, there we go. Kelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. Goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old? You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sport. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Was there a fox and a severed head? Um, well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Oop. I guess there could be... There could have been a gray fox, but a severed head. I guess not necessarily... Yeah, not necessarily part of the main quest, yeah? Yeah, there was a severed head at some point that talked, right? I think so. Okay. Hey, what's up? How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Shoutouts to, of course, Wes Johnson, right? 
he really was everywhere <laughs> in oblivion he, he really was everywhere okay i'm here to deliver a message wait where are we who are you talking to wait where are we inside the mind of pelagius silly oh, i thought we were in his butt oh, is it your first time who were you talking to pelagius the third now surely even you know about pelagius's decree on his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! Okay. I mean, that seems like a pretty good thing to outlaw. Also, of course, for the uninitiated, some brief spoilers for Oblivion. Right. <laughs> I guess skip ahead a, a little bit after we get done with this conversation or something if you don't want to know. But, you know, it's a pretty old game and it's it's pretty old hat to know this, even if you haven't played Oblivion. But this is our character. This Sheogorath is the same one that we become at the end of Oblivion of the Shivering Isles. This is one the same, which is why he knows all that stuff. And I guess also in a way why he has such a, I don't know, respect for Martin Septim, who really was uh, probably hands down the best Septim, right? Maybe not the best Emperor because Alessia was pretty good. <laughs> There's a lot of real bad ones, though. There's a lot of real bad emperors. Ooh, now that's a bit more of a competition. Who was the worst one? I don't know. <laughs> there was, uh... <laughs> There's, uh, quite the running there. But, oh, shit. But Martin and Alessia, pretty good. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. You know, the two emperors that were... You could barely even consider as emperors, I guess. All right. I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. I think I made a mistake coming here. <laughs> I think I made a mistake coming here. Oh, no, 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 no mistake at all. What you made was a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happened. <laughs> oh, the folly of youth. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking baby's tea. Word of advice. If you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. A narwhal? Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. You're the mortal messenger. And I am? Honestly, have you any idea? I'm afraid I don't know you, sir. All I know is that your people need you to return. You're a madman. All I know is that your people need you to return. Oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. I have to say, <laughs> I tweeted about this a few days ago as well, if you've seen it. I don't necessarily care for Sheokora's particular brand of buffoonery. <laughs> I think there's opportunity for some retconning, some light retconning of personality tropes or or rewriting all that stuff in the future. I think there's a lot of potential there, and it's pretty untapped. All right. So what does that mean? You'll leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. 
Okay. What's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? I do have to say, way back when I first played this, I did love this. I did fucking love this. Uh, ten years ago, me... <laughs> a in my late teens I fucking loved this <laughs> all right let's see oh I can't even oh we have to, oh oh I see I don't remember this part okay sure all right well can I take this do you mind I'm busy doing the fish stick it's a very delicate state of mind right. I don't think they had a reference to the fishy stick in Oblivion, did they? Maybe they did, I just forgot. Should we take some other stuff? I don't even know if we get to take this out with us, but hey, why not? Okay, good. Well, we pick one path. Let's try this one. Oh, good choice! Oh, geez, he's right inside well, of my head now. Me. I find everyone being out <laughs> to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it... Less so. Yeah! That's been my life, you see, though. see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Okay, well, which one... Which one's mine? Do I just shoot them? Okay. Oh shit. Does this just go through like a set series of... Oh, uh, there we go, okay. Okay. Well, it looks like it's going great! Your creature doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. We think train is off. Do we not shoot them? Oh, oh there I we go. thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that <laughs> much closer to home. Okay. I do also kind of appreciate how how in Skyrim Sheogorath does at the very least take the opportunity to like take a dump on the Septum <gasps> lineage and call them out for being kind of like major assholes. <laughs> that that's that's all right. That's pretty good. All right. Let's head on out over this way. Good, good, good. And I guess we'll just go counterclockwise. You've hit it down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Okay. Alright. What do we gotta do? We gotta shoot him? 
or get closer here. Hey! Can't pickpocket. Do I shoot him? I only have one option here. Shooting. There we go. A peace-loving goat. Wait, am I meant to punch it? Time to get lost, ah! Ooh, fuck! Oh my god! Jeez! Okay. That was no fucking good. Can I wait and heal up or <laughs> anything? No. Okay, one more strike and we're out. Guess we better quick save before we do this again. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Good. Oh, shit, where'd it go? Hmm? Okay. Well, now that's something to crow Whew. about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Okay. Oh, I can't actually check the treasure chest. All right. Do they have anything to say? Sultry Maiden? Little Pelagius? Yes. yes. Well, goat? No. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright. Jeez. If I remember, this next one is actually a little bit combat focused. We might die. We might die here. This, this might actually be pretty tough because we don't have access to all of our shit, you know? Like, jeez, if I hadn't been putting so many points into health lately... That would have one-shot ah, us. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius's anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Oh, okay. Never should have come here. Oh, shit. Who are these? Big. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue to hate everyone else. Damn you. All right. <laughs> okay. Good. It does almost seem like. It, it almost reads like Shea Gorath is in some way interested in helping Pelagius here. I'm not sure, though. In, like, a weird fucked up kind of way. I don't know. I don't exactly remember how it ends. Okay. I think it, it's not meant to be taken too seriously, though. I think it is mostly just for, for laughs. Let's I have a say it. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Or something like that. I've done it. I've fixed Pelagius' mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations! You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Hmm. Okay. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the Mad Emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. 
A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait Was to... there venom in Shivering Eyes? Yes, I can't yes, remember. that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you... The name is very familiar. Minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Hmm. All right. How do we get out? Oh, there we are. Okay. Great. All right. Well, we should probably put on all of our old shit, shouldn't we? Let's see here. Good. And the weapon as well. Oh, shit. Oh, the jewelry, huh? Oh, fuck. Here, let's sort by name. There we are. Well, our carry weight still ain't back to normal. What am I missing here? Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, the backpack! The backpack, of course! There we go, great. Alright, Jazargo, you been here that long? Gordon too? I don't remember you all coming in with me. Okay, cool. Yeah, it does seem like Shao Gorath, at least this Shao Gorath, is kind of interested in helping people in a weird way. Almost, almost it, it read like toward the end there, like undoing some of the curses of madness that the prior Shao Gorath like afflicted people with, you know? And especially like the line of fixed, not so much, but treated more so, right? That sort of like minor correction there almost made it seem like they're they're trying to be more gentle, like even keeled with the way that they're treating it. I don't know. At the very least, I'll say it's a massive improvement over how they handled things in the Shivering Isles in Oblivion, right? Which is just kind of fucking abhorrent with some of the shit that they have you go through, right? Which, I don't know, a fucking different time, I guess, right? Before most people came to, like, view uh, mental illness as more of a serious thing and all of that, right? Because, fuck me, like, it, it gets pretty, like, not even lightly egregious in some spots, but in a few parts of the Shivering Isles, it gets pretty fucking bad. Like, you literally convince someone to kill themselves. It's real fucking rough. It has not aged well at all. Right? <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking rough. But, like I said, it does feel like they're taking the opportunity here, like, with this new version of Shao Gorath, to maybe, um, course correct, so to speak. Right? Which I think is a good thing. It, it is a cool way that you could actually... Like, if you were up to snuff, there is a way in which you could pivot Shale Gorath in that way. Um, when we were going through there into the different parts of Pelagius's mind, you know what I couldn't help but think about? And this would be a great way to pivot the character, I think. And maybe it is what they ultimately are considering doing. But think of another game or even a sequel to said game that kind of came out not too not too far off just last year I think that addressed mental health in kind of a comical way but also gave it the amount of space that it needed and treated it with the amount of um, I don't know seriousness levity I don't know what you would say there but with the amount of importance that it deserves psychonauts psychonauts 2 what if you, like, that That kind of comedy also could totally play in well for the character of Shao Gora. That's how you do it. I've solved it. I've solved the case. <laughs> That's how you course correct on Shao Gorath. You have new Shao Gorath right the wrongs of the old version 
by way of some goofy Psychonauts-esque antics, right? That's how you do it. That's how you fucking course correct this character who has a history that has aged like fucking milk. <laughs> I think we just figured it out right here. Goodness gracious. Now, the only question is, <laughs> do you have the writing chops to do that? Because it is a very difficult thing to manage, right? <laughs> that sort of issue. Maybe they do. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in the future. I'm very curious about it. But at, at least I'll say before doing this and, and really giving thought to how this this version, this interpretation of Sheo Gorath has advanced from what we saw in the Shivering Isles... I think I do end up having hope for the character and for, like, portrayals of them. Like, I think, I totally think there's a good way you can pull it off, right? I'm convinced by thinking of Psychonauts and keeping that in mind that there is absolutely a fucking way that you can manage to pull it off. I think you can absolutely do that. It's just a question of whether they can muster it, right? We'll see. We will see. I'm very curious as well what they do in in ESO, right? I'm very curious about that. I haven't done any Sheo Gorath stuff aside from like lightly tapping into like the I don't even remember the one of the recurring yearly events and stuff. Maybe maybe it, it has also improved there, but of course, uh, canonically that would be a different version of Sheo Gorath just as well, you know. Anyway, should we rest here? We do actually have access to a bed right here. Seems like a good idea. Why not, right? There we go. Good. Why not rest here? See? Our man back out at, like, Iverstead or wherever it was... Really fucked up. Should have thought bigger than some weird creepy burial mound filled with, like, literal Draugr and stuff. Should have moved on up to the fucking Blue Palace. <laughs> How perfect, right? How fucking perfect. All right, let's see over here. I do think it'll be really interesting as well to see Oblivion when we do get around to replaying Oblivion in like Sky Oblivion or something like that. I'll be very interested to see and have a like a second look at it as I myself have have grown as like a person with better understanding of shit, you know? So, although it was mere years away, you know, he continually want to be uh, moving forward and all that, so to speak. All right. Let's see over here. Do we have anything else to deal with in this area? No. Who is Bali? Who is Nivenor? Who are these people? They're in Riften. Oh. Uh, well, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we return to Ayla. I guess. And we see if she, she'll give us a totem quest. We'll check that real quick. Fingers crossed. Okay. Over here. We'll head on out and everything. Really nice that there was a bedroll, though. It doesn't make me wonder who was staying in there. Was it Dervenin? Who was Dervenin? I swear the name Dervenin is super familiar. They had to have been in Shivering Isles. I just don't remember what. Or who they were. They weren't like one of the major faction leaders in there, were they? No. I really don't remember them. I only vaguely, like, the name is just familiar to me. But that said, what if the familiarity of the name is from 10 years ago having played Skyrim? What if that's it? Or from this very same playthrough, remember? Remember the, um... Oh, well, I don't even remember her name. Maybe she didn't have a name. But that old lady who was wandering out in the in the reach, who was like, Dervanin, Dervanin. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I'm I'm getting Wait, like I know you. a deja vu with the name. Maybe that's where the source of it. I don't know. Okay, let's head on out. Man, I feel really fucking good about thinking out the the Sheokoreth problem. <laughs> I feel like we really we really came upon something here, a really good and satisfying way to address it that's still in character. It could totally still work and be in character for him and everything. It would be perfect. And like I said, maybe that's what they were alluding to here. But, you know, they just didn't have the time to get to it because it was just a side quest. Like I said, it's uh, leaps and bounds above what they did in, in Shivering Isles and all that, you know? 
<laughs> like some of it, it got real bad. I can take you to right. the hold. Where do you want to go? Let's hire a carriage over to. Let's go to White Run. Climb and back, and we'll be. I was off. debating whether or not we should go to River or <laughs> Riften to Force sort out radio. that Grey Cow of Nocturnal stuff. But let's first see. Maybe Ayla will even give us a quest in Riften. You know, maybe, maybe a bear will attack Riften. Who knows? Okay, over here. You know what? Look at this. I'm gonna ride Prior Mabel just this short distance. It's a little bit quicker, and it's pretty fun. You know, it's pretty fun. We have ridden Prior Mabel significantly less since we've had Odiving around, and maybe before, maybe last time, that was Prior Mabel striking out. She wasn't catching a ride on Odiving. She was trying to take that motherfucker out. <laughs> she was, she was trying to kill him. <laughs> That was her attack. <laughs> She's going to absorb Odoving's soul. She's going to kill him and absorb his essence one of these days. <laughs> That's why Odoving ain't going to be in Elder Scrolls 6, baby. <laughs> Fuck. Could you imagine? There's got to be at least... I don't think they'll have Parthenax in Elder Scrolls 6 unless they're like a big deal or a big part of like the main story or... um the, what do you call it? One of the DLCs, one of the major DLCs or something, which could be cool. Right? Not a not a bad idea. But I think it would be even cooler if it were actually Odaving who shows up. Right. There's definitely going to be a dragon who shows up in Elder Scrolls 6. It's just a question of who. You know. Definitely got to be one. Alright. Ayla, where are you at? Are you actually not up in here? No, okay, you are. I just had the wrong thing tracked. You're someone who can get things done. I, like I am, you. Ayla. And guess what I got done? I killed a bear. Do you have guidance for me, Harbinger? Snow bear dead. I'm sure that the owner of that place is relieved. They certainly came through with the coin. Huh, 300. Is there any work to be done? Harbinger, I'd be honored if you joined me in my search. Oh. I had once heard Skior and Codlack talking about the totems of Hersene. Simple-looking objects that could channel the powers of the werewolf in new directions. Once Codlack began looking for his cure, I'd wager Skior didn't bring it up again. But I was going through his things and found a book I had never seen before. All about the totems. I've been talking to my sources around the holds and think I may have heard where one of them lives. Where it Wanna lives? What? Are they alive? You should probably handle this with yourself. No, hell yes, let's we go. We hunt together. Really, Gizargo was having such fun. I know, I'm sorry, Gizargo. Back to the college, then. But only one person can be with me at a time. It's a... I don't know I don't know why that's the case, Gizargo, but it is. <laughs> I don't know why that is the case, but it is. All right. Let's head on out. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Good thing. In between videos, I'll do a little bit more inventory management. We'll get situated. We'll, we'll eat a little bit and whatnot. Right, we'll rest up, and then I guess we can head on out over here to these moldering ruins, which we've been to before. So we don't need to be too attentive with exploring it. We can just sort of fly through if we so desire. We can even go through as a werewolf, right? Get some werewolf perk progress and whatnot. Yeah, very good. All right, I was worried that we would not get a totem quest from Ayla after doing all that. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Maybe I'll alternate, right? You do one that's unrelated, one that's like generic or maybe two, and then you get a totem one. I'd be down for that. That's okay. Because I think there's, what, three of them in total? Yeah, I think so. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>